This video is to show how to set up the operation and troubleshoot methods for the Eberly LMA-1800 detector. This detector has a dip switch mounted on the top of the unit and front panel buttons, so you can set up operational parameters, including frequency, sensitivity, and much more. It has a single loop with a programmable dual relay output. Let's get started on setting up the detector. With the unit plugged into the 10 pin connector and it powered up, the power LED should be green and the red detect LED should be off. The seven segment LED deflectometer will quickly flash the loop frequency. For an example, you may see a four and two indicating 42 kilohertz. To check for the frequency with the unit already on, just push the reset button. It will quickly flash the loop frequency. There are four settings for the frequency, high, medium high, medium low, and low. To adjust the frequency, they are selectable by dip switch one and two on the front top of the detector. What you want to do is if you have multiple detectors, you want to make sure that each detector is set for a different frequency. If you don't do this, you could get crosstalk between the detectors. With the deflectometer, it makes it quick and easy to set the sensitivity of the detector. Place a typical mid-size car or small pickup over a properly installed loop. You want to see a value of five displayed on the deflectometer and the detect output LED should be red. This is an optimum sensitivity setting. If the typical vehicle is completely in the detection zone, the detect LED is on, and the display is not five, you will need to adjust it. To adjust, push the up or down button on the front panel of the detector until the deflectometer displays the value of five. The LMA 1800 detector has two operating modes that are selectable by a dip switch, fail safe, fail secure. If you have switch three in the off position, it's in fail safe mode. If the loop fails or the detector has no power, the relay output will be on or conductive. With switch three in the on position, your unit is fail secure. And if the loop fails or the detector has no power, the relay output will be off or not conductive. Now the detector is ready to detect vehicles. Let's show you how the detector operates. When a car is placed over the loop, the LMA-1800 detector detect LED should illuminate red. This is to let you know that there is a vehicle over the loop. At this point, the unit will activate output relay A. This relay will stay activated until the vehicle leaves the loop detection zone. This is the factory default setting, which we call infinite presence mode. To change this setting for the output relay A, you can do so by changing dip switch 7 on the 8 position dip switch on top of the unit. When dip switch 7 is in the on position, called normal presence mode, this feature is used at locations that have a compromised loop that periodically locks up. The presence detect output relay A holds time is between 5 minutes minimum and 3 hours maximum, and after that time the detector will retune. With the model LMA-1800 you have a sensitivity boost mode. From the 8 position dip switch, switch 8 is your sensitivity boost dip switch. This feature is useful in preventing dropouts during the passage of high bed vehicles and when a vehicle is towing a trailer. To activate this setting, turn on dip switch eight. Another feature is that you can put two second delay on the output relay. If the delay feature is activated, the output will only be turned on after the two second delay of time has passed with a vehicle continuously present in the loop detection zone. If a vehicle leaves the loop detection zone during the delay interval, detection is aborted and the 
detect LED will flash. The deflectometer will display the letter D, and the detector indicates that a vehicle is being detected, but that the output is being delayed. Once the two seconds are up, the detect LED will illuminate solidly, the deflectometer will display a number, and the output relay will go to the close position. To activate this feature, you must use DIP switch 6. With the model LMA 1800, you have a second relay. To change output relay B to operate in different modes, there are two DIP switches. They are 4 and 5. As output relay A is doing its thing, and both of these DIP switches are in the on position, the output relay B will pulse its relay when a vehicle enters the loop zone. With dip switch 4 off and 5 on, the output relay B provides a pulse when a vehicle exits the loop zone. With dip switch 4 on and 5 off, the output relay B operates in presence mode and follows the operation of output A. With both switches off, the output relay B will stay in the normal closed position. Now let's talk about if you have issues with the detector. With no power LED or a blinking LED, this is telling you that you have a power issue and you should check the input voltage to the unit. To check the voltage, you will need a voltmeter. Look on the side of the detector unit and see what the voltage should be knowing that you should set your meter to measure that voltage. For example, if it's a 120 volt AC unit, you should set your meter to the AC reading. If it's 24 to 48 volt DC, you should set it to the DC reading. Once you set the meter, take one of the two probes and input it into pin one of the socket and the other put into pin two of the socket and make sure that the meter is reading the correct voltage for the detector you're using. If the power is reading what you need, there may be an issue with the unit. If the power is wrong, you need to take care of the power supply before the unit will work. The LMA 1800 detector continuously checks the integrity of the loop. The system is able to detect shorted or open circuit loops or sudden changes in inductance exceeding 25% of the nominal inductance. If a fault is detected, the detect LED and power LED continuously emit a sequence of flashes. Additionally, the seven segment deflectometer displays the code F1, F2, or F3, indicating a current loop fault. Each type of fault is identified by a different flash sequence. So, for example, if your detect LED and power LED is blinking once a second and the deflectometer display is showing a F1, this is an indication that you have an open loop or circuit. To troubleshoot this issue, look to make sure that the loop is connected. Most of the time, it is a loose wire connection or the lead-in wire has been cut. If you cannot find a cut, then you will need to test the loop. If the detect LED and power LED is blinking twice a second, and the deflectometer display is showing a F2, this is an indication that you have a shorted loop. Once again, check the wire connection or the lead-in wire for a short. If you cannot find a short, then you will need to test the loop. If the detect LED and power LED is blinking three times a second and the deflectometer display is showing a F3, this is an indication that you have a 25% excessive change in inductance. Once again, check the wire connection or the lead-in wire for any issues. If you cannot find an issue, then you will need to test the loop. If the open or shorted fault condition self heals, the detect LED and seven segment deflectometer will return to normal operation. The power LED will continue to flash with the sequence, signifying the type of fault that was last detected. In the case of the excessive inductance change fault, 
the unit will retune to the new inductance after a period of two seconds and continue operation. The fault will be indicated by a flash sequence of the loop fault indicator. Pressing the reset button will reset the detector and clear the flash sequence from the loop fault indicator. To review the last loop fault condition, simply press and hold the reset button for two seconds. This is the basic operation of the Eberly Model LMA 1800 detector.